Hello. It's a beautiful late winter day. It's March 2nd, 2015. I'm at my school and I want to measure how tall it is to the top of that flagpole. I don't have a ladder that can reach that high and even if I did I'd be too scared to climb it. So to figure out how tall it is, I'm going to take advantage of the beautiful clear blue skies that we have today and I'm go and the sun shining down and I'm going to do this indirectly by using uh, math and similar triangles. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to measure the length of the shadow of this flag. And to do this I'm going to get the help of my family, my daughter Lauren is going to help, and my wife Joanna will help do some videotaping, and my daughter Clara, I don't know what she's going to do. But She'll sit and throw a tantrum, I hope not. But there is the shadow extending over there toward our school. And what I will do then is I'm going to measure how long that is and uh, we can use that to calculate the length of the, the height of the flagpole. So, will you hold that right there up against the flagpole? Thank you, Lauren. Right here? Yep, just right there is fine. Okay. And I'm going to walk this way across the snow. I'm going to try to find where the end of the shadow is. And it looks like it is over here on the sidewalk. Looks like right now. It is about seventy nine feet. About seventy nine feet. So we're going to use that to help figure this out. If you could come hold the camera. Thank you. I know the shadow length. He's 79 feet long. Daddy! Daddy! Hi, yes. Oh, yeah, thank you. This by itself doesn't help us to know the height of the flagpole, though. So what I'm going to have to do is I have to have something to compare it to. And for that, I'm going to use Daddy. another triangle. And that's where the similar triangles Daddy. will come in. I know. How do we know these are similar triangles, by the way? I know they're similar triangles because their angles are all the same. These are parallel lines from the sun. They're both hitting the Earth's surface. And so I've got parallel lines and a transversal, which means corresponding angles are going to be congruent. I also know that this flagpole, if it was built right, has a right angle there. And if I can measure someone standing straight up, that will be a right angle there. And if I know these angles are a match and these angles are a match, the third angles would also have to be matched because the three angles have to add up to 180. So if all the angles are the same, these are similar triangles. Oh my gosh, you found a piece of gum. <laughs> That's disgusting. So I know the shadow length is 79 feet. Don't know this yet. The height is a question mark. Let's measure the height and shadow length of my daughter. So, first let's get her height. And I'm going to reel this in. And, can you come over here and stand up against this thing, Lauren? Thank you. Just put your back right up to it. Can you put your back up to it? You can both stand there, that's fine. Yeah, you can both stand there, that'll work. And it looks like... Okay, it looks like you are... Are you standing up straight? Lauren, looks, you should put your feet against the yeah, thing too. Feet all the way back. There you go. And it looks like you are 3.9 feet tall. 
3.9 feet tall. So. So the height here, 3.9 feet. Now let's get your shadow length. So let's go over here to do this. Okay, follow daddy. like that. Can you stand right on it? Let's flip it over looking at the yellow side though. Okay, stand right on it. Good, just like that. And the length of her shadow is, I would say it was, if you stand up straight, nice and straight, it looks like it's 10.2 feet. 10.2 feet. So the shadow length of Lauren was 10.2 feet. So I've got these two similar triangles. That means. <laughs> yes, thank you. So. <laughs> Sorry. That means that these Clara, triangles, leave it there. Leave it there. That's yucky. The side lengths will have the same ratio. The same ratio. She's got it in her hand. Which means I can do this. I can say Let's switch sides. I can say that the flags Shadow divided by Lauren's shadow will give me a ratio between these two. So I see that the flagpole has a shadow length of 79 feet. Lauren's shadow was 10.8 was 10.2 feet and we can find the ratio then so for this I'm going to turn to my handy dandy calculator watch 79 divided by 10.2 is 7.7 .7 approximately so it's about 7.7 .7 is the ratio there. Now that's the ratio or the scale factor if we go from Lauren's shadow to the flag's shadow. 10.2 times about 7.7 .7 should give me the shadow length. I can use that same scale factor for her height though. If her height is 3.9 feet, 3.9 times that scale factor should give me the height of the flag and that's all there, all we'll do to get that one. So if I do Lauren's height, 3.9 feet, times our scale factor of 7.7, .7, that should give us the height of the flag. So, so if I do 3.9 times 7.7, .7, equals that is 30.0 feet. So that is the height of the flagpole. It's a 30 foot flagpole and it worked out. So we used similar triangles to calculate this. I can't climb this high but I can certainly find the height and shadow length of a person if I get the shadow length of the flagpole it's an easy task from there. Hope that made sense and goodbye.